Okay, so we're going to make a miter fold top, uh, a tabletop, and uh, it's going to have a two inch drop edge and an inch and a half return that goes back underneath the top. So that bit right there is the miter folding bit, and it's slightly more than 90 degrees, a little over 45 on each side. And uh, what unfortunately, what we didn't show you is. Uh, the clamping tape that's underneath the sheet where all of these miter folding joints are going to go. So as you're looking at this, uh, at the machine cutting this miter fold, know that there's a three quarter inch wide piece of 3M clamping tape directly underneath the joint. And the tip of that bit is leaving about five thousandths or so of walnut, the walnut veneer on the on the face side of the sheet and plus the thickness of the tape so there is uh, the tape is completely intact and a little bit of wood right underneath that joint right there so it's not cutting all the way through the sheet there's a little bit of fiber of wood that's going to fold over with it um, and this is uh, fast forwarding. All of the miter folding is done. And you can see that the, the body of the tabletop and then there's two folds on, on each side of the top. Right now the machine is outlining the part, cutting it to size. And in the corners it's uh, making a 45 degree cut which is putting the 45's on that inch and a half return that's gonna be parallel with the top so all th those two parts fold over and then there's the 45 degree joint that's going to uh, make up the inch and a half return so it's gonna continue around and show you right down there there's one little piece that needs to be cut out uh, with a razor knife. So we're going to fast forward over to the bench top here in a second. But um, that's it. That's the machine's done. The pins came up. The suction's off the part, so we can pull all this apart. But that one little piece needs to be cut out with a knife. That one right there. So mostly what he's cutting is tape. Since there's only a few thousands of wood, that's really easy to cut. So he's kind of bearing down. Mostly, you know, like I say, he's just cutting that that clamping tape that that rides underneath each one of those joints. You don't have to be real careful. Um, just have to make sure that you don't cut away on the the joint. So then to glue it up is fairly simple. You lather up the joint, and get some right down into the apex of that joint, and then just wiggle it back and forth a few times like that, and it will distribute the glue throughout the joint. And he's already got that one side, that far side. See, it's kind of taped down. And um, and then to work the corners, it's really just finger pressure and clamping tape. Now, he's got to work it a little bit, and he's squeezing with that left hand pretty good, and then sucking that tape over, and that tape it does a pretty nice job. The 3M clamping tape, um, it actually has a little bit of, uh, call it clamping tape, because it has some elasticity to it. Not a whole lot, but you can stretch it over a joint, and then clamp it on the other side and actually kind of pull it together similar to like a, a butterfly bandage and it's not always necessary to pull it tight and he certainly wasn't on that one but um, it's pretty good stuff so once you get used to it you can make pretty good time I kind of got outside the joint there a little bit but it's no big deal it doesn't show so he's gonna wiggle it Now, this is a good chance to see that clamping tape that lived underneath the sheet while it was machining. 
see the as he folds this back up that long piece of tape that it's imperative that you have that under there this this whole system doesn't work unless you clamp or use that clamping tape underneath the joint is that um, it wouldn't put up with the folding it would just it would fall apart so he's just got the one end down at the other end to, to deal with it's quite a slick system so a little bit more glue and he's got a I'll tell you, it's 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 an easy thing to forget when you've worked three joints and you come around to the last one you have to remember that you got to glue both ends of this one that sounds obvious but we all make mistakes I think he's gonna do a good job here though this guy's pretty good You know, and he's done several of these, and he kind of, he makes it look easy. He knows what he's doing, but it really isn't that hard. The key is to get that tape underneath the joints when you cut the part. If you screw that part up, this thing would fall apart when you took it off the machine. So... He's got glue on both ends. He's going to tape that up. And he's going to be done. We'll leave this in tape for maybe 45 minutes, half hour, depending on the weather. It's kind of cold today. And uh, he might need to be in there for 45 minutes or more. But you have to get the tape off as soon as possible. I mean, it isn't imperative, but it's a lot easier to deal with when it's fresh than when it's sat overnight or anything really we try not to leave this stuff in tape overnight if you can help it and get it off and detail it as soon as possible but a guy that's worth his weight in salt can detail this top in, in uh, pretty good time uh, it, it, you can burn through the corners if you're not careful you know obviously there's not a lot of veneer on the corners but, uh, you know, with a little bit of practice, you can get this thing to look pretty darn sweet in no time at all. It's a pretty slick system.